Hi, Lee Phillips again. I want to talk to you about a concept called split gifts. It's a tax concept. It's actually a concept that is associated with gift taxes. And lots of people don't worry about gift taxes. But if you're in a high estate tax situation, I mean, you're going to pay, the family's going to pay an estate tax. You have over the five million or the 5.45 or whatever it is this week. Uh, then you want to give away money so that it's not taxed when you die. Now, wait a minute. The IRS has said, no, 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 no. You give it away, we tax it, gift tax. You die, we tax it, estate tax. But the two taxes are unified, so either during your life as a gift, or at death you can pass the 5.45 or whatever it is this week, 6 million. Um, you can pass that much without having to either have gift tax or estate tax applied. Now, if you're trying to give away estate because you're going to pay estate taxes when you die, then we want to gift it so that it's not subject to the gift tax. And we do that by staying under what we call the annual exclusion. And there's another CD on the, or another YouTube on the annual exclusions. But uh, that's 14,000 something like that a year. If you're trying to give it away, the husband can give the annual exclusion amount, 14,000, whatever it is, and the wife can give that too. And that's called a split gift. No, 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 wait, the IRS says that's a gift. You gave $28,000 because you and spouse, you filed joint tax returns and stuff. You're one. So the IRS doesn't know that you wanted to give 14. She wanted to give or he wanted to give the 14. So you have to file a gift tax return with the IRS that says, no, 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 no. This was a split gift. We're going to split the gift. He gave 14, she gave 14. That way, both of you are under the annual exclusion amount, the 14,000. Well, it goes up each year with the cost of living. So, if you're trying to get rid of estate, you need to give it so that he gives it, she gives it, or you've just given your son or daughter a house, for example. That's a gift. That's over $14,000. It would be a good idea to file a gift tax return and say, he gave 14, she gave 14, and so that's $28,000 off the value of the house. If it's a $100,000 house, then uh, what do we got, like $72,000? $72,000 would go toward your unified tax, the estate gift tax. So when you die, you wouldn't be able to give away the $5 million. You'd be able to give away the $5 million less the $72,000. But we might as well take advantage of the 14,000 and 14,000. But you have to tell the IRS it's a split gift. So when they talk about split gifts, that's what they're referring to. This is Lee Phillips talking about split gifts.